during cool wet springs is slug damage and we're standing in a field that about a week ago a week and a half ago had some pretty severe slug damage. Now if you look at the first four leaves of this plant you see a lot of damage a lot of that chewing damage that's typically slug and usually uh, this is pr quite distinctive. Uh, they'll sometimes just scrape the top layer uh, of uh, green tissue and do it sort of like a leave it a gray sort of a window pane appearance. Sometimes it'll go right through as you see from these leaves here. So they'll get this sort of raggedy appearance with ribbons of damage going through them. But if you look above and you see the newer growth, uh, it's completely unscathed and these plants are going to grow very quickly uh, given this very warm weather. Uh, this damage is not going to affect this plant. Slugs are can be one of the more difficult uh, pests to find. You can see here there's a fairly decent thick mat of residue. Uh, these plants have obviously had slug damage. You see three, four in a row here. You want to just carefully peel back this first layer and then you'll find a slug like this one right here. If you just scrape back this first layer you find it's much more moist under here than you would think. Uh, it's quite dry on top, but underneath it's very moist, and that's what slugs like. And they curl up in little shiny balls during the day. And then at nighttime or overcast rainy days, they'll come out and feed. Slugs are not insects, so all your seed treatments and BTs and insecticides do not affect slugs. So uh, in many ways, they're one of these pests that crops up, and there's not a lot we can do. There are control options, but they're... Uh, difficult to apply and not always effective.